right, we've got some big news in the space world. Monday marked a moment NASA scientists have been working toward for years, like 25, in fact. Uh, we've been telling you about this Space Watch story since late last year. Now the James Webb Telescope has reached its hovering orbit. Lana Zach joins us now with more. Hey, Jerry. Hey. So the James Webb Telescope, you, you mentioned it was conceived in the 1980s, uh, developed in the 1990s, almost got killed several times, yes. but now it is yes. home. Over the next several months, it will synchronize its mirrors as it brings into focus images never before seen by humans with a whopping $10 billion price tag. The James Webb Telescope is a tremendous investment in our understanding of space. And as you know, a lot can go wrong in space. This particular endeavor had hundreds of little things that all needed to go perfectly right for the mission to be a success. And luckily, so far, it has been. But let me show you an example of just how precarious this mission is. The telescope's environment is extreme. The temperatures on both sides are well beyond our earthly norms. The solar panel side, which faces the sun, will reach a scorching 185 degrees Fahrenheit, a full 55 degrees higher than the hottest day ever recorded here on Earth. And then on the flip side, the mirrors will be positioned in temperatures plummeting down to negative 388 degrees. So you may be wondering why position this delicate instrument in such an extreme situation. But at Lagrange Point 2, NASA says that the gravitational forces and orbital motion will create a balance that allows the telescope to hover as it orbits. And as you can see, James Webb is positioned more than 930,000 miles behind the Earth as it relates to the sun. And so it will continue to orbit as it gears up to start taking these awe-inspiring pictures, which, of course, always brings me to my favorite part, the mission. The James Webb Telescope is nearly 100 times more powerful than the Hubble, and NASA scientists believe that it will be allowed then to capture light streaming from galaxies and stars more than 13 billion years ago. For perspective, that's three times older than our sun. And this means that the telescope has the potential to not only give insight into our planet's origin story, but it could also show us what space was like before our solar system existed. It could prove or disprove hypotheses like string theory, the Big Bang theory, and now we are one step closer to unwrapping these mysteries mm. of our universe, Jerika. And, and I saw in an earlier program here streaming that people were wondering, well, will we know if there's life <laughs> in other places? You know, I've been talking about <laughs> right, this all day, and, that, and that's, you know, one of the questions that, a, that, that people are, question, are wondering right? about. What this will be able to do is it'll be able to capture images. And, yeah. and when we're talking about these images yeah. in space, we're talking about light that is billions of years mm. old. And that's part of the reason for these extreme temperatures, right. because it's looking at the infrared spectrum mm -hmm. of light. It needs to be able to capture that. And so we're probably not going to be like seeing <laughs> the, you know, the, uh, another space civilization, but all of yeah. that's one step towards uncovering all the mysteries, all the things that we don't even know. So exactly. And I noticed somewhere those, down the line. those gold plated Mirrors. Talk about actually, the importance of, of having them and that, so what that's actually doing. that's actually gold that the, that they put on it. And the James Webb Telescope is larger than anything that's ever been out there before. Right. And how delicate this mm. instrument is to be out there. And and as I mentioned, really, it's about. Um, capturing that that light and so it has to be so sensitive to be able to withstand the extreme heat on okay. one side and then those freezing cold temperatures on the other well i look forward to learning more i heard the uh i think it was the nasa commissioner manager saying the best is yet to come you know nasa was saying that uh that science geeks have all been turned into giddy little <laughs> children today it's i'm sure. really pretty amazing Lana, thank you so much. And how did you get through all of that reading? You know how hard that is for the people at home? <laughs> you know, when you're, when you're, you're this just passionate you're about a subject. You're professional. Yes. Oh, it's good to and be passionate. here with you, Good Jerica. to see you in person. Yes.